Man, I've been thinking about drugs the past couple of days for some reason. I think it's just the nature of my work, you know? You see pain and suffering in the world and you don't know what to do. You really want to help these people. You want to alleviate pain. And um, oftentimes, it comes in the form of a pill. Give the patients a pain relief tablet and the pain goes away instantly. You know, pain is such a subjective thing. People experience pain differently. So just because someone said this thing that happened to them didn't hurt them much doesn't mean that the next person won't feel excruciating pain. For some people, bench pressing is like a walk in the park. They have no issue whatsoever. But for some people like me, with long ass arms, bench pressing is such a pain. You know, like there's so many things that I got to think about. It doesn't come naturally to me. Bench press is such an unnatural movement for me and for a lot of people as well. When are you going to see a person lay flat on a surface, on a bench, on a table, pushing a heavy object off their chest? What, meanwhile, maintaining constant leg drive and retracting their shoulder blades and, you know... When are you going to see that in nature? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Bench pressing has caused me so much pain. And I'm glad I'm able to sort of progress in it. I'm, I'm sort of able to get better at the movements, getting less pain over time. And so that's a win. But it is such a subjective thing. For some people, bench pressing comes naturally. The first time um, someone who is a good bencher uh, goes to the gym, they just lie down and instantly they bench press 100 kilogram. That's how good some people are. They don't train at all and they just get a 100 kilogram bench press the first day that they step f foot in the gym. Meanwhile, it took me, I would say, three years to even come close to that. Um, am I just bad in general? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a horrible, horrible person when it comes to strength. I'm just weak in general. Maybe. But yeah, it doesn't come naturally to me. And like I said, pain is very subjective. For some people, the pain is unbearable. And they don't want to sit in pain. Um, which is understandable. Um... What is life when it is constant suffering? How can you see the light at the end of the tunnel when everything around you seems to be going wrong? It might be work-related. It might be a relationship issue. Um, you might be in a deep hole right now trying to pay off all your debts. Um, money is short at the moment. Whatever it might be, I don't know your story. And I'm not here to judge, but I see people just turning to a quick fix too often. They don't want to sit down with the pain. And sometimes it's not even the pain, it's just uncertainty. You know, existential angst is a real thing. And I think it's an issue that has plagued the human mind since the dawn of time, ever since we developed this consciousness to ponder about our place in the universe. What is the reason we were put on this earth? Just to suffer? Just to mindlessly wander around, um, beating around the bush, trying to find the real meaning to life? What is even the meaning to life really no one knows and it is a real thing when you have so much freedom when food shelter all of these basic low tier um, human needs are met you're left with this need to self-actualize and you don't know how to reach that you have so much freedom but you don't know what to do with your freedom and so for a lot of people, they turn to drugs because of this very reason. They don't know what to do. 
they they it's just an empty void in their life and they don't want to sit down with these thoughts they don't want to sit down and just be they want to become they look around them and they see all the people they compare themselves to their peers hey that guy has a lamborghini that guy has a beautiful girlfriend um that every other guy wants um that guy has a lot of friends that guy um is very likable a lot of people like him people just want to be around him and i want to be that guy you know i just want to have all of this status all of this fame all of this money all of this <sighs> beauty um and so i'm going to take a quick fix you know what can i do to get these vanities of life what can i do to feel happy and they want that fix instantly so what do they do they take drugs they alter their body um there's nothing wrong with their bodies but they they just want to cut something off they want to pretend to be another gender they want to become someone else they they just cannot accept themselves for who they are they they cannot sit down with these thoughts have you ever tried doing that have have you ever tried doing nothing to sit with your thoughts and be okay with those thoughts in your head have you ever tried doing that um i don't think many people have tried doing that when they get these racing thoughts they immediately want to do something about it you know reach for the pills um go see a prostitute you know having a release something just to take the edges off smoking yeah just rolling up a blunt taking a hit putting a needle into your vein take the pain away instantly they don't want to sit down and think about what all of these things mean to them and i'm not someone who is qualified to be teaching people life lessons or anything like that but i think with my life experience i can at least share something with the world i've been there i've been in a dark place and i don't want to be there you know but instead of sitting down with these thoughts accepting that is what is happening and being okay with that um being okay with myself at that moment in time i just i i just couldn't accept it and so that led to um my suicide attempts i i did not want to be there um i could not see the light at the end of the tunnel and so i i had to i had to go you know but there there is a silver lining to this um there was uncertainty on my mind and i know that no matter at what stage in life that i am at there will be uncertainty all the time and i've come to terms with that i don't know everything and nobody knows everything nobody knows anything really um and i'm okay with that now i'm okay with that realization now Uh, and so I'm able to sit here and do nothing about it. You know. Doing nothing is better than doing something that is permanent and you know, and irreversible. So yeah. That's why I think about drugs as well. It's a quick fix. It's not going to solve your problems. Sure. It might make you feel better. uh for a short while it it might allow you to continue your day and go on with your life for a while um but sooner or later you will need it again in order to function and what if it's not there you know and you might need a higher dose to get back to where you were before so you're not really fixing the problem it's just masking it anyways that's it from me hope you guys are doing well stay strong god bless um
I gotta go to work and I'll speak to you soon.